and I hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday. Today is my top five shamans in War Thunder. I won't be adding any of the premium shamans in my lane list, but you, who knows, I might add them as a honorable mention, or I just might add them, um, you know, in a future video. I understand that there's a couple of shamans in the Japan, Italy, and French tech tree. Um, I sadly don't have them, but as soon as I unlock them, I might, you know, um, re-upload this to my top 10 favorite showmans. But nevertheless, let's get started. So at number 5, we have the M4A3-105 showman. The reason why this showman is my number 5 is because this might be uh, Player's first showman at 2.7. The 105 is a very decent gun, especially with its heat round. But it is its reload rate, which really gets me down. Um, at 13.5 seconds base, it is extremely agonizing. But if you manage to hit your shell and completely destroy the target in front of you, and if you don't get swamped, who cares? But if you fluff your shot and it bounces, or if you miss, then you kind of so well. So the M4 A3 105 is my top five. So at number four, we have the M4A1 76. And how I love you. Your 4.7 BR has a lot to offer, unlike the 3.7 before you. The vehicles that you can bring with the 4.7 Sherman can really complement uh, the playstyle really well, unlike, you know, the, uh, the predecessor, which is at 3.7. I do love my lineup. I can give you guys a little bit of an example here. At my 3.7 lineup, oh sorry, my 4.7, not 3.7, I have the m 4 a I have the M6A1. If you guys play World of Tanks, this is the M6 Heavy. I also have the M13 MG MC, because I do not like the SPAA that is at 3.3. I think it's absolutely um, horrendous. But I also have the P51D Mustang and I have the P47D Thunderbolt, aka the Jug. So the lineup that you can bolster really fits the M4A1 quite nicely. And that is why this Sherman is my number four. At number three, we have the Sherman 2. Unlike its American counterpart, this 3.7 Sherman has a good lineup behind it. Um, just like my number four, I have a very good lineup with my uh, Sherman 2. But with both tanks, um, they can both equip the T45 APCO shell with 143 millimeters of penetration and that is why I really like the Sherman 2 and also it's because of its lineup because I have the Cromwell 1 I have the Crusader AA Mark 2 and yes I do have a Spitfire I could opt to go with the Bullfighter at 3.7 for the British but you know I, I'm more of a spotting role when I'm coming to my um, Spitfire and my British because you know I, I like being a support vehicle, uh, like a support ally, as you will, with when it comes to my British. So that is why my Sherman 2, the Berlin Express, is my number 3. And at number 2 is the uh, M4A2 and the M4A3 Shermans. This double feature, I absolutely love these 5.0 and 5.3 Sherman's great lineups, and it is very satisfying when you kill t um, Tigers and King Tigers with both of these Sherman's. Uh, with a 5.3, you can effectively see um, the Tiger P's, and with a 5.0, you can relatively see you know Tigers because I don't really think the Germans have much for 6.0 vehicles. I know that they have 6.3s, I know for a fact that they have 5.7s. So effectively, you can only see Tigers and Panthers with the 5.0. Um, really good, really reliable showmans, and I think I actually might get a Talisman on my 5.0 and my 
Actually, I think I just might get a Talisman on my 5.3 other than my 5.0, but who knows? That and the M4 A276 and the M4 A3 Easy 8 are my top two showmans. And if you're a fan of the channel, you guys would have already seen this coming. This is the Sherman Firefly, also known as the Sherman VC. This British tank can hold itself really nicely when it's up tilt or up yard. Because of its 17 pounder anti-tank gun high velocity that it has. Um, I absolutely love this tank. I really do. I love the history about the Sherman Firefly. But I also love the Shermans of the American line as well. Um, when the British got their hands on the Shermans, they they liked the 75 mil gun, but the ammunition that it used it that used it wasn't available in Britain. So using the 75 mil gun was kind of mute because you know they couldn't actually get rounds, and so. They had a lot of these 17 pounders just laying around, so they figured, well, let's just try to put a 17 pound gun into a Sherman tank. And that's what they did. And it was actually really successful. And in order to do that, they actually had to cut a hole in the back of the turret and weld a bustle in the back so that's where the radio will sit. Or if you a little bit more stereotypical, that's where the T and uh, the crumpets will sit. Um, I try to, you know, dress up my Sherman um, Firefly as good as I can get it. I'm trying to hide the bustle. I have a little bit of a decal on the uh, the cannon to try to hide the silhouette that, hey, by the way, I have a long gun. Because that's what a lot of Sherman Firefly crews would do, is that they would have a custom decal to the cannon of the tank to try to hide the fact that, hey, I have a 17 pound gun. And that is why I absolutely love the Showman Firefly. It is such a great tank. Well, that is my top five list and I hope you all enjoyed it. And the video on this tank, the AC4, or also known as the Australian Cruiser Tank, will be on Friday. And on Sunday will be yet another live stream. I hope that you guys all enjoyed today's video. And I will hope to see you guys on the live stream. This has been the Canadian Prince. I'll catch you guys on Sunday.